116 people died in the purge election year, meaning the Belko experiment has finally been usurped as the top kill count champion. America, fuck yeah! Like all purges, the victims were full of ambiguity. I counted 82 men, 8 women, and 26 unknowns, meaning as per usual, a whole bunch of dead dudes. With a runtime of 108 minutes, we actually wound up with a kill on average every 56 seconds. What the fuck? After hours of work going frame by frame, Zorn and I determined that there were 116 deaths in Zombieland. The victims included 11 living men, 4 living women, and 101 zombies who I'm not gonna bother breaking down by gender. Not when they match in Dalmatians in quantity. With an easy breezy runtime of 88 minutes, that left us with a startling kill on average every 45.52 seconds. 133 people died in the first purge, meaning yes my friends, election year's reign is over, because the first purge is the deepest, baby I know. The victims included, I think, 60 men, 12 women, and 61 of unknown gender, thanks to all those background bodies. And with a runtime of 97 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 43.76 seconds? Holy shit! By my count, there were 143 kills in Dawn of the Dead, but I promise no two people are gonna count the same number here. I had 22 living dudes, 75 zombie dudes, a single living lady, 30 zombie ladies, one unknown human corpse, and 14 unknown zombies, giving us our first, question mark, six part pie chart. What a fucking mess. With a runtime of 127 minutes, that gave us a kill on average every 53.29 seconds. Through my completely arbitrary methods, I counted 161 dead-slash-infected people in Rec 3. Probably missed a bunch, probably double-counted plenty, and who knows what the fuck's going on with that gender distribution. So, you know, forget about it. With a runtime of 80 minutes, that left us with a victim on average every 29.81 seconds. Damn! 234 people died in this version of Carrie, which still falls short of the current record held by Final Destination. I can't do too much about the gender breakdown, since, I mean, you know, but with a runtime of 132 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 33.85 seconds. That's math. By my count, 274 people died in Brightburn. Other than the 268 plane victims, we had an even ratio of three guy and three girl victims. So I bet you can barely even see them in that pie chart, huh? With a runtime of 91 minutes, that left us with a kill on average about every 20 seconds. But, I mean, you know. A record-shattering 292 people died in Final Destination. Obviously, I don't know the demographic breakdown of all the 287 plane victims, but aside from them, three men and two women died, so we can put them on the pie chart in some barely perceptible wedges. With a runtime of 98 minutes, we had a kill on average technically every 20.14 seconds, but yeah, you can see here why averages aren't always useful. By my best estimate, there were 376 kills in Zombieland Double Tap. That beats the record of 292 set by Final Destination 532 days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Kill Count Champion, Zombieland Double Tap! Congratulations. With a runtime of 99 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 15.8 seconds. What the fuck, man? <sighs> Well, since this is technically three movies in one, let's separate out these kills. In Dude Bro 1, nine people died, seven men and two women, giving us a pie chart bluer than the remains of old Parchtown. In Dude Bro 2, 16 people were killed, eight men and eight women, upping the count as, you know, good sequels do. Then finally, Dude Bro 3 killed 4,269 people, 15 men, four women, and 4,250 unknown Parch towners, plane goers, and, you know, orphans. Giving us a stupid jump in numbers and a very gray pie that, you know, expired in the 80s. Oh, and there was that one guy that was killed in a commercial, giving us the only time you'll ever see a single person pie. That gave this trilogy of a film a grand total of 4,295 kills, 
which I believe makes this the new kill count champion. Yep, technically, that is correct. Good job. Thank you for setting a new record that's going to be harder to beat than Bruno San Martino's reign. I have no idea what that means, but I do know that with a runtime of 103 minutes, that gave us a kill on average every 0.024 seconds. Oh man. So fucking dumb.